Mitsubishi, the big screen company. From the beginning of television, people wanted to see a big picture. And over the years, screen sizes have grown. But the picture was never really big until someone separated the colors, added lenses, and projected the image onto a bigger screen. But this approach had its problems. The TV was two discrete parts. When bumped or moved, it had to be realigned. And the off-limit zone between the projector and screen took up precious floor space. You had to be right in front of the screen in a dark room to see a decent picture. In 1979, Mitsubishi was first to add a mirror and combine the projector and screen into a single unit. This not only eliminated the off-limits area, but the TV also closed into a single piece of furniture when not in use. Plus, no more fragile alignment problems. However, the viewing angle and room light still needed to be addressed. So Mitsubishi turned the design inside out, projected the image onto the rear of the screen, and enclosed everything inside a single cabinet. The result? the world's first rear projection big screen TV. This ingenious design eliminated the need for viewing in a darkened room and significantly increased brightness and viewing angle. But creating a new kind of television raised some questions. History, however, has proved Mitsubishi right. Mitsubishi has continued to redefine big screen TV with the world's first 60 inch and the world's first 70-inch big screen, the world's largest rear screen picture, about six times larger than a 26-inch television. Being the big screen company, Mitsubishi anticipated the demand for a bigger picture. But as screen sizes began to increase, viewers expressed a concern for the ever-increasing cabinet size. So, Mitsubishi developed a special high-performance lens design that allowed the cabinet size to be significantly reduced. A Mitsubishi big screen now takes up a lot less floor space. Mitsubishi has now made this evolutionary development part of its revolutionary big screen line. Mitsubishi also brought the same vision to tube TVs with the world's first 35-inch direct view television. Some regarded it as merely an engineering marvel. Some had their doubts. But the customers were telling a different story. Mitsubishi is now in their eighth generation of 35-inch models. In fact, there are more Mitsubishi 35-inch TVs in homes than all other brands combined. This revolutionary development created yet another new category of big screen television. It was the foundation for the next breakthrough in big screen tubes. Mitsubishi's 40-inch direct view CRT, the world's largest mass-produced picture tube. Mitsubishi has continued to lead the industry by venturing where no other big screen has gone before. Tabletop big screen. This exciting new concept puts a Mitsubishi big screen into spaces where only smaller TVs dared go. Downsizing called for a complete redesign and resulted in a big screen less than 21 inches deep, about the same as an ordinary 27-inch TV. Mitsubishi's tabletop big screen weighs nearly half that of a floor-standing 45-inch model. Its compact size doesn't overwhelm the room, yet it delivers Mitsubishi's renowned big screen picture. It can fit on a shelf, in a wall unit, or on a table. It can fit the big screen experience into your home. Mitsubishi offers the largest selection of big screens. The 70 inch is still the biggest picture in the industry. The 40 inch set is the biggest tube TV available. 
And now the tabletop big screen comfortably fits the Mitsubishi experience into even more homes. This heritage and continuing leadership is no accident. Mitsubishi keeps a keen eye on the future as well as an attentive ear toward our customers. It's no wonder consumers have chosen Mitsubishi, the big screen company, more often than any other brand. The facts are in. The future is big screen. And Mitsubishi is the big screen company.